I'm going to show you how to use our face moulds. We've got four different face moulds. They're very easy to use. This is our smaller mould. It's got five different faces on. That's our, our most popular. Then we've got the medium sized face mould and the large face mould. We've also got this girl face mould as well. This is more suitable for um, younger girls cakes like princess cakes or you know fairy cakes or whatever. Okay the large mould I don't really use as a whole head mould. That one is more for decorating cakes and putting the faces flat on top of the cakes but I'll show you how to use the head moulds or the face moulds to make the whole head. So I've got corn flour in a bag I'm just tapping that into the mould and tap out so there's not too much. Now I've coloured some marzipan with pink and peach for the skin colour. I always use marzipan for the faces because it, it colours really well and looks much more natural than sugar paste or modelling paste. If you want a darker skin colour you add brown to this. Okay. So that's nice and smooth now to go into the mould. Because I'm going to do the whole head I'm going to pinch and make a little point on the front of the marzipan so it goes into the nose on the mould. So I'm just pushing that with my finger behind. That, that point goes into the nose, just put it down. Now I haven't got to press hard now. All I'm going to do is just push the marzipan to fill the shape of the head and then push, pinch and push with your fingers into the ears. That's only if you want the ears. If you're going to make a woman's face with long hair, you don't really need to do the ears. Then if you want the neck, you pinch and push down into the neck. And that's ready now to come out. The, the head here is going to be covered with hair, so I'm not too worried about that. Turn it over and just press the mould gently and it falls out. Okay. Now I'll show you how to alter that face now, how to open the mouth and how to make the face look a little bit older. If you take a mouth tool and push the tool in and down and then pinch a little and push up, you can open the mouth. So I've just pushed up that top lip so it looks like it's singing or shouting. Now if you want the face to look older, you can mark lines with a Dresden tool as well just at the sides of the eyes, maybe across the forehead, down from the eye here and here. You know, you can put as, as many as you want really. And then you can mark chubbier cheeks. So you can really make the face look different. The other thing you can do is just flatten the nose and attach a bigger nose. It's better to have a bigger nose on a man for, for a man's face. So now I'll show you how to dust and paint the face. This, this has just come out of the mould, so I'm going to push the ears back. Because it's a baby's head, obviously it's not going to have much hair, so you just need to smooth, if there is a little mark from the edge of the mould, just smooth it away with your fingers. Okay, so now I'm going to dust the cheeks with some pink powder colour. So it's just a little bit of pink and rubbed really well into your brush on some kitchen paper and then colour the cheeks. So you can see I'm adding it very gradually so there's not too much on. Once it's on you can't take it off. So build the colour up gradually. Okay, so it's just a nice soft pink. And now I'm going to paint the eyes. So I need some white and I'll mix the colour in the lid. I'm going to use alcohol. So just a drop of alcohol into here and then paint the eyes. You'd leave the head on the table. I'm just lifting this up for the camera so it's easy to see what I'm doing. But you would when you're painting just leave it on the on the table. Okay. So 
So just paint that round it. You can go over it again. If it doesn't look thick enough, the colour, you can do it again. So now I'm going to put the eye colour in. Again, use the alcohol. You don't have to use alcohol, but the alcohol paints really well and it dries very quickly. So if you, if you have to use water, um, you would have to wait a little bit longer for it to dry between each, each layer of colour. I'm painting the eyes. You always paint them looking up or down, left or right, never straight ahead. And now they should be just about dry again. So now we need some black and another drop of alcohol. And painting the pupils. Okay, so now for the eyelashes this time I'm going to use water because the brush is so so fine if you use the alcohol by the time you mix the color and get it right the alcohol's dried on the brush so just mix that in with a little bit of water and those eyes are sticking out so it makes it really easy for the brush to follow the eye round and then flick out the eyelashes and you only need to do two or three if I do more than two or three, I tend to go wrong. I just need to turn it this way so I can paint underneath there. Okay. And now I'm going to go back to the white to just paint a tiny dot of white into each eye. That really brings it to life and wakes it up. And then some eyebrows. Now be very careful painting baby's eyebrows. You don't want them thick and heavy. You just want them very soft and thin. So very thin brush and little eyebrows there. Okay. So at this stage now I would put it onto the baby's body. So I've got a body here that I made, that I've modelled, and there is a support through the centre. I've used a satay stick, but you can use an edible support made with flour paste or Mexican paste. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to just press it onto there, I'm going to hold it in my hand and take another satay stick, and push it in slightly and then twist and push gently into the head. That stops the head being pressed out of shape. So now I've just got some edible glue. Let me just brush the stick with edible glue and down to where the head will touch touch the body. I haven't I haven't shaped the neck on the head because the baby does look very odd with a with a neck. It looks too long. Okay, now she just needs some hair and a dummy. So all I'm going to do is just brush the top of her head with a little bit of glue and then I've got some brown marzipan and I just take the smallest amount, little tiny amount and just roll it very thin and then take a cocktail stick and just press it in the middle and fold it over, pick it up on the stick, take it over to the baby's head and just press it on. So you can add a few more, I'll do one more very quickly. As you press them on they sort of stand up. Okay, so now I'm going to put the dummy in. So we just put a little bit of glue on the baby's mouth and a small ball of pink sugar paste. I've pressed that so it's flat. We'll just put that over the baby's mouth. I'm just going to make a hole in the centre and just wiggle that stick around to make the hole a little bit bigger. And then the same as the hair, just roll a tiny ball of paste in the palm of your hand. Put 
put the two ends together I'm just pressing those ends flat put the cocktail stick in so it's held on the cocktail stick and then rest it on your finger just touch the end with a little bit of glue and then take it over to the baby and put that into the hole. Now that, that body, this body is dry, it was made a few days ago and it has tylo powder to dry it so you know normally I wouldn't tip it up to put the handle of the dummy in. I've got some royal icing that I've coloured brown in this piping bag and I've got a 42 nozzle which is a fine rope nozzle and I've just started to pipe the bride's hair onto here. Okay, now you can pipe the hair long or short, straight, curly, whatever you want. Just piping it freehand like this. The groom's hair was just piped on in exactly the same way with the same nozzle, royal icing, but as I've as I've piped, I've just piped short, shorter pieces of top and pulled up and off like that to get the spiky effect. So I, what I do is I build it up in layers, do the lower half of her head first with the royal icing, and then work your way up to the top and around the face. Bye.